Hello guys and wel- Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk and last episode I just managed to smooth smooth things out I talked to Gala uh know a few things about his past like he used to be a war veteran apparently or a war a soldier and is now a veteran and He's dealing with some serious stuff, which is pretty, which I did not expect. So yeah, and yeah, we'll, we'll proceed with the episode. And good thing the space guy Neil showed up to lighten lighten the mood a bit. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's proceed. Okay, so it's currently Wednesday, September thirtieth. 30th, 30th, yeah, 30th, 2020. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic Atlantic immigrants. Dwarven meat cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth Organization fights to save more forests. So I'm not sure what these articles are connected to. I'm not sure if they are related to the story in any way, shape, or form. But We'll see. I'm not sure. Not sure about that. Welcome. Ooh. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or FIRE for short, FIRE. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal inst interstellar immigration seriously have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature hmm. i don't think so but what should i be looking for what's the alien what's the alien look like we're not 100 percent sure but according to some eyewitnesses it's wearing a spacesuit or something so oh no that's uh, a pretty eye-catching outfit You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have all have been running around after false testimonies. There are supi- they are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through website. Through our website. We'll do, sir. You don't want to you don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Oh no, Mr. Agent's looking for Mr. Neil. Oh boy. Whew. You really you really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, these two. Good evening. Good evening, Whiskey Frog. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua. Miss Merton, have you been, have, have you both been somewhere together? We have planned to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrive at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay, can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Okay, green tea, mint, mint. Sure, that's probably it. Mint with mint. Okay, so Marrakech. Marrakech. I'm not sure what that is. Your drink's ready. Oh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakech or Ma Marrakech. Inspired by its or origin. Marrakech in Morocco? I heard people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Okay. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tetarik. What the hell is that? Tetarik. What the hell is that? Tetarik. What is that thing? Is Tetarik? What? What the hell is Tetarik? 
head tonic. Okay, so I have to experiment curious. More catch. Okay, so I have the tetaric. What the hell does that mean? Tetaric. Is that supposed to be the same? No, can't be. Um Tetaric so min I said cinnamon. Okay, let's see here. What the hell is tetaric? I may have to redo that. Mint cinnamon coffee, so that's not it. Okay, tetaric. Okay, let me just look up something and I'll be back in a second. Milk tea, so... I suppose let's just add more tea, I guess, and milk. I suppose that's the thing. I hope that's the thing. But I don't want to mess this thing up. Please be the one, please. And there we go, Tetaric. Here's your Tetaric, I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce that thing. Huh, is there anything wrong? No, it's better than I thought it would be actually. The taste is really authentic, just like the Tetaric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did, where did you learn to make it? I traveled around East Southeast Asia a few years ago. Uh, so you have learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um, how are things going in this office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day your research can have an impact as direct as this. I can't do that voice. <coughs> My voice is too deep. Um, only a few weeks for after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, I want to say please don't forget the rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha! As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family get some rest. But we all know, the optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad about Oh, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it. But yeah, it's guilt. I I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even as for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know, what makes it worse, I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. It's not that bad, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation, healthcare, bonuses, and so on, and we're already used to this, so don't so don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy work con working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be easier, much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game just... The game got approved to the showcase max max really max max west this year that's really good news congrats thank you so what's the problem then i haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer why confirm it fast before they give your spot to another indie uh 
I'm just not sure about it. You're st what's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the events, even in Seattle. You don't need to spend any anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection test, yeah. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, you the judges are usually prolific people in the industry and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in, in the area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, the oppressed group of gamers. What if some haters visit the boot? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <sighs> Even after all that, I'll stay. I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. Oh, so fun. My voice is getting wait, let me just have a drink. Hold on. Just have a tea with me. I'm drinking it on a on a tumbler or whatever you call it, water container, I guess. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty right around then. If then stay this way until max. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. Eee. No, I, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. We'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. Exhibitor badge, I can't read. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can't just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a, and a smartphone. Is the, expo, ex, is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build back now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. And another evil person. Mm hmm. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Whiskers Frog. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh. Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. Oh, it'll be announced tomorrow, but I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. You're still adding new performers? Yeah, you, you, you might say that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Eesh. Sweet hot chocolate. Sweet hot chocolate. Okay, this is definitely sweet. So not water. 
good. I guess this is it. Sweet hot chocolate, I suppose. That's pretty sweet. Uh, what this? Ah, oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. And we have Bartle and three hearts thing. Uh, huh. Full Metal Conflict series, meantime, as I've stated, work. Blue pad. Okay, te -tarik. Okay, sweet hot chocolate. I'm not even sure if this is the correct one, and I'm not. I don't want to mess this thing up, but. Oh well, let's see. Let's brew it. It is sweet though. Oh no. Okay, I have one more chance. Sweet hot chocolate. So, I guess that's the thing. Sweet hot chocolate. Not honey chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, okay, so there we go. It's just uh, I just have a different name, I guess. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. Oh, wait, please be correct. How was it? How is it? Hmm, not bad. It's not special, but it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other, other than the instruction on the loading screen. Try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't, don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense, if you don't want to put a time limit on it. Try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get enough to get people's attention. Noted. Another person. Who is this? Dad? Oh. What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Okay. Now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Whiskery Frog. We didn't need to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest... Oh, crap. Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, wh what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Okay, thank you. Sounds delicious. I'll take the Spanish Sahara. Okay. So what, what was that? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at remembering stuff. Uh, okay, basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Milk, ginger. Okay, there we go, hot chocolate. Spanish Sahara, there we go. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good for nothing pervert. I need him. He's, he's going to help me become more successful. I know Maurice. He is not a good person. The, ind the industry has changed, Dad. It's not, it's not like 20 years ago, okay. 24-7. Beat, okay. Another achievement unlocked. Besides, since he left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they can become superstars. I still have my information in that industry. He hasn't changed much. And if he has, it wasn't for the better. We're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how many fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Oh. 
didn't make me understand because this is definitely not helping. There are, not, there are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. <sighs> Rachel, I... I'm sorry, but I'm trying... Okay, try harder, because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have inform informants there. Not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I'd need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. Know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose me someone other than Maurice? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is that the height of his career now. It's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to, call to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See that. Wait, Rachel. Oh boy. Excuse me for a moment, Mr. Street Frog. Freya. Oh no, that's not Freya. Sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear her, their argument, Merkel? Of course I heard them. I, cho I chose to ignore most of it. It's not of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Nah. No, I was listening. I made notes. See? You didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Not that you mentioned it. It happened naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Whiskery Frog, we're, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care of your way home, on your way home. I can't read. God damn it. And... Hmm, I guess that's all for to- For ya. Oh no, it's Mr. Uh, forgot his name. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you alright, sir? Sir. Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. Sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she'll alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Ha! Huh. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You, know, you don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s, and they still are, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. 
I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. Do you didn't find the peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But that's hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the w yeah. Yeah, I need to, uh, especially to keep up stats on Twitter or on Facebook, on YouTube. They're the most toxic fans of the world. Yeah, I need to cover my words here because I don't want to get cancelled by them. They're the most toxic fan base I ever know. And yeah, they're they are more, more toxic than the gaming industry. So yeah, that's uh, information for me. All in purpose. I didn't mean to say my name. Yeah. To to toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls, especially, they were crazy about their idols. Yeah, especially K pop stands on Twitter. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibility, their families, and the men. They were even worse. This, oh yeah, that's, yeah, this, especially. Uh, not keep up with J pop uh, male fans or stands. I'm not sure they're called stands, but Japanese or J pop man uh, fans, especially the male ones, are very creepy towards their idols. And yeah, if you've seen the news about it, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They sexualize the girls in every way you could possibly, be, possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking. Outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. Don't talk to me about peace. Couldn't sleep back then. But getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a rec record store. Record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're a niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for a little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet at last at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Whiskey Frog. I'm sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. And no Freya for today. That's unfortunate. Yeah, no Freya. J. Tubrook Jr. Presides, presides for the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Alright, so yeah, that was a very intense episode there, but yeah, that was pretty chill, I suppose, and not chill because we just witnessed a fight between. A father and a daughter and good thing the other two uh, people are busy minding their own business with their video games or something like that and yeah and that's it for today's, today's episode hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more coffee talk episodes